Good morning. Ah, coffee. It's tasty and it helps you come up with great ideas. In fact, I need a great idea right now. My camera is on a tripod and the tripod is so tall. It only gets so tall and I need it to be taller because my desk is tall or my workbench or whatever you want to call it. It's tall. I'm tall. Things are tall. So I need the camera to go a little bit taller. And I was looking at tripods. I use a Manfrotto tripod and it's incredibly expensive. I was looking at one that was 1200 US dollars. I don't have that kind of money to throw towards a tripod. What if, what if I could use 3D printing to solve my problem and not just solve it, but what if I could use 3D printing to save money, solve my problem and to make it better? Let's do this. I'm Joel and this is 3D Printing Nerd. You know tripods, right? It's the thing with legs. And usually on top of a tripod is a camera of some sort, a still camera, a video camera, perhaps a light or a GoPro or something awesome. But high quality tripods that don't wiggle or that can hold a lot of weight usually cost a lot of money. They're a pretty penny for sure. But I have a camera and it mostly stays right there. And if I want to make my tripod go any taller, I would need to buy new legs for it. The legs are really expensive. And if I was to get new legs, imagine your tripod legs go like this. If I was to get a taller tripod, it usually means that the legs go further out. So what I want to do, I want to use 3D printing to fix my problem. And I want to use 3D printing so my tripod, even though it goes taller, doesn't necessarily take up more floor space. I want the footprint of my tripod to remain the same or similar. And I want it to get taller and I don't want to spend 1200 US dollars. In order to do that, I'm going to need to get some materials and I'm going to need to take some measurements. So here's my thinking. I know that I want to make a piece that can attach to the tripod leg and I'm going to need to measure that. <laughs> hey, welcome to my floor. We're gonna measure the tripod leg and it is 19.98, we'll just call it 20. We're gonna call it 20 millimeters in diameter. That's an easy measurement. Now what we need to do is measure the angle and I have an idea. So I've got a bubble level and I've got my, my phone. So what I need to do is calibrate my phone so I can tell that the angle it has is good. So the bubble level's level. I hit the push button calibration there. And now what I can do is bring it over here, measure the angle that we're at. And the phone says 23.9, 23.9. We're gonna call it 24 degrees. I think that's gonna be the easiest. So we've got essentially 20 millimeters on the diameter and we have the angle at 24 degrees. That should give us enough information to do what we need to do. Also for the extensions, I have this idea. I have these lengths of PVC pipe and if the leg comes down here and attaches to this, then the tripod will get taller and because these are vertical, then it means it won't take up more space. Let's get out my handy dandy trusty calipers and let's see, that measures in at 21 and a half. 21 and a half millimeters is the diameter of this. If we couple that with the measurements from the tripod leg and the angle at which the leg sticks out, then we have enough information to go build something in Fusion 360. Look at this, we're inside a Fusion 360 and I've already modeled the piece. I really wasn't sure how long it was gonna take, but I did it. And uh, I, I did learn some things along the way. So let's, let's start. So first, what I did, uh, I created <laughs> this, yeah. This was to fit the leg. I made some sketches and extruded uh, some things in order to make this shape here. There we go. And I slightly curved that in. So this is where I added the hole for the nut and the screw. So for the nut, I did uh, five millimeters from the center and it's, it's 10 total. And then for the screw, I did six millimeters in diameter. Uh, these were measurements that, uh, because it's hardware that I used before, I didn't really have to guess again. And so I knew those were going to work. And so I just, I just went with it. This is the tube that the tripod leg was going to sit in. And then I angled it 24 degrees. There's the block at the bottom that I want. And then I put another gripper here. So this, this little clamp piece here is gonna be for the PVC pipe. 
Uh, I put the holes in, I added some champers, I added plenty of fillets. And then one of the things that I did that I didn't really know about before was uh, right here. So what I wanted to do was create a new uh, plane or uh, what's it called? It's called a plane at an angle, or I could do an offset plane. Uh, but essentially what I wanted to do was make it so the tripod leg would go in and sit flat. But because this was made in this orientation and then, and then it was tilted and then this block was added right here, I didn't have it, it wasn't flat down here. It was more this direction right here. So what I did is I created that plane right here and then I drew a circle and I extruded it down like that. And so this meant that it was going to be flat at the bottom for the tripod leg to sit in. And then I made sure that was flat and all the way through because that's where that needed to go. And then once I turn off my sketches and I click out here, there's the piece. There's the piece. It looks great. I think it'll work because of all the measurements we took. And now it's, uh, we just need to print it and we need to go test fit it. Hey, look at that. The design is done and I was able to get them printed. There it is. This is the piece. So I used the measurements to make sure that this was at 24 degrees, I believe is what we measured the legs at, that this is going to fit the leg and that this is going to fit this piece of PVC pipe. Uh, it's printed in high five blue. I, I like how it turned out. We do need to make sure that the pipe will fit. We need to make sure that the leg will fit. I'm not too worried about these though, because when we, we made these holes right here, we made it so that they could open up a little bit more and then some screws. These are left over from my drawer pulls. I know that the screws are kind of long. I don't really care at this point because they were handy and they were right here. So now what we need to do is make sure that nuts go here. Good, they fit in the pocket just right. And then I can take the screw from the other side. That's going on pretty well. Again, the screws are too long, but you have to remember when making something, you use what's available. And if I can use these screws and then maybe cut them off later, then I've saved a trip to the hardware store. Although to be fair, a trip to the hardware store usually means I can stop and get some ice cream along the way. So maybe this wasn't the best decision of all. Maybe I've actually been, I've, I've out efficient myself from getting ice cream. I don't know. I don't know how happy I am about that. Because look at that, we've got the screws in, we've got the nuts in, everything seems to fit. So let's test fit this piece right here. I'm just gonna put it in from the top. There we go. Ooh, that, I'll tell you what, that is a snug fit. So what I'm gonna do is loosen the screws just a little bit, and there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. And this is great because now what I can do is adjust things. So if I need it to be extra tall, I can put it up here. Or if I just need an extra inch or so, I can put it up right here. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. I'm confident that this will fit the tripod leg. And I know that this fits in here. So let's multiply this. Let's cut, paste, copy. You do some magic to make more of these exist and then we'll go put them on the tripod. One more, one more. <laughs> magic worked. We have three ready to go. Let's get these on the tripod. Let's make sure they work and let's finish this up. Actually, before we do that, I just wanna make sure you know, okay, okay, this, this is the current height of the camera. This is where it is. Take a look at this angle. This is good, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So remember this angle, remember this view, and we'll take a look and we'll compare it to the next view when the tripod is taller to the floor. Here we are, back on the floor. You know what's funny? The tripod was actually sitting on two of these eSun filament boxes, just like this. And I would put this on top of this, but well, the dogs knocked it down. Let's just say that happened. So this is gonna be a better solution. So let's put a tape on these and find out how tall it is. Six and a half inches. I'm gonna put it at seven because what I want on this piece right here is I want the same or similar distance from here to the end of this tube. So if I call it seven inches, that's an 
easy one to do. Almost there. Perfect. It's just about seven inches. It's super duper close. So we tighten these to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And again, it's, it's not really, uh, it's not being stressed too much. It's just a tripod and it's just uh, holding a camera. So it's not like it's a car driving down the road. I'm gonna undo this, make this go up a bit. My, tri my camera's still up there. Uh, so I just can't, there we go. I just can't uh, let it go down because my camera's on there, but that fits. That fits really, really well. Let's see, all right. That's good, that's good. Let me undo it just a bit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's perfect, that's perfect. Oh, that's not going anywhere. I'm gonna put this on the rest of the legs and then we're gonna finish this up. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is so much better. So I don't know if you can tell, but this angle, I like it because the camera is essentially directly across from my eyeballs and it's perfect. I love it. Okay, so this is the new angle. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I like it. I think the solution, God, I think the solution was perfect. I mean, I would have had to have spent so much money on new tripod legs. And instead of doing that, a couple dollars worth of high five blue material and some hardware left over from a previous project and some PVC pipe that I found in my garage and the problem is solved. Makers are gonna make, that's for sure. You know what? I wanna thank you for coming along on this journey. If these brackets might be somehow useful to you, I'll put them up on Gumroad for two bucks and that $2 goes towards supporting the channel. Uh, beyond all that, if you've made it this far, you're awesome. <sighs> Don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. And as always, high five.